Hey guys, this is Troy. I just want to show you a truck I just converted. This is actually uh, my vehicle. And um, what we do, I've got my tanks in the back. Obviously, I've got a fill nozzle directly into this class 2 tank. So you can, I can do uh, 35, 3600 or 3000 PSI with a shut off. And um, so we've got two tanks run down uh, along parallel with the bed of the truck. And then um, right here, place the uh, fill gauge. So conveniently located. Pop the hood. I'll show you where the wires go. And I uh, just want to do a real quick video here. Some people have been asking me about this, like five or six people a day. So I wanted to uh, just show, show you what I've done. Uh, we'll start here with the computer. So I've got my computer right here with my CNG guy. And so we ran that. We ran our wires. Here's our diagnostic wire. I have that Velcro right here. This here is our map sensor. And this here is one of our relays. So in the map sensor, you have wires that run off this and then T, um, excuse me, tubes. And this one T goes directly to our regulator. And then the other tube goes directly to our intake manifold to pull some of the pressure off the intake manifold and that information goes to the map sensor and then this one right here goes directly over to our fuel um, rail for our CNG fuel rail so uh, that's part of our computer some of our wiring uh, diagrams this right here is obviously our regulator with a um, electric solenoid down here it's grounded and then this wire here it goes to a temperature sensor for the regulator and then of course we only use a clear gauge and this is uh, this tubing here um, is your high pressure and then it gets reduced down to this two-stage regulator and turns into your low pressure so your low pressure continues on till it goes to the fuel rail first we go through a filter right there on the low side and then we come on over and we we tee so I tee off to the individual fuel rails to the right and left side of the vehicle. This one here on the this side, actually you have each injector has its own numbers. Number two, number four, number six, number eight. So in the program, when I'm programming this, I can actually determine, hey, I need to tweak uh, things. I, I've never adjusted an individual injector, but I have that option. Um, and then this right here, this wire is a temperature sensor for the injector once it gets warm enough. Um, and we can read the, it reads the gas temperatures. And then these individual tubes run down to the actual, you can't see it very well, but this is where I drilled and tapped into the intake manifold. Now this being a plastic intake manifold, I actually left it in place. Um, due to the fact that the little plastic shavings 90 plus percent come out the top and then the rest of them um, I take a, a little bit of grease and I put on my tap and my drill and then I collect the rest of them on the bit so uh, we've had no problems with that and we've been doing it for years that way these uh, blue tubes are actually our coolant tubes so what, what happens obviously when you have the CNG coming in at a thousand two thousand three thousand uh, PSI and it reduces down to the 120 to 140 PSI on the low side it starts to can freeze the regulator and so the coolant ran through there to prevent that from happening um, I use these permanent um, hose clamps I love them I think they're great and I've never had a problem with anything slipping or coming off uh, that way so what we did on the one side of the block we did to the other side and then what we have here is two wires we run for our power one wire is underneath the box here and this went to the ignition so I just soldered down in there ran and tapped into the ignition source and then this is our permanent wire and I've tapped into the battery right there then um, of course I ran this I could have easily ran this wire here into through into this uh, harness but um, I left it exposed just so people can see what I've, what I've done. Also here on the fuel uh, for the uh, injectors, we actually hijack or piggyback off the factory injector. So what we do is I'll take the wiring from the factory injectors and uh, remove, I'll cut back some of the insulation and then we'll solder into the uh, each individual injector. And I prefer the solder versus just clipping in because I think it gives a better look for as far as the install. So we'll step back here now that you've kind of got an overview of what everything is. 
and we'll go from there. So again, computer, all our wires are running out. Now in, from the computer we also have uh, more wires that run inside. We have a wire that's our uh, switch wire, which I showed you, or the switch earlier. And then um, we, I, RPM wire, which I pull uh, when I have the dash part, I pull it right off the tack. Um, on the, the dash or you can pull it anywhere from the motor and then there's two additional wires once an oxygen sensor excuse me both are oxygen sensors and um, you've got two oxygen sensors on this truck and we tap into those each vehicle is obviously different so I'm not going to say tap the gray wire because it could be you know green on your car and then uh, here's our ground um, right there in the center so that should explain what the majority of these wires and, and hoses are now let's fire it up and it's going to fire initially on gasoline and then roll over to natural gas. So it's flashing green and then it just clicked. So we went over to uh, natural gas. Now let's go outside here. And if I'll close the hood, you can't hear. I mean, the motor just sounds as normal as any motor. And then. Uh, so just, just regular idling truck and then pop the hood here and you can just barely, barely tell that those uh, injectors are rolling and it sounds great, it sounds like a little, little sewing machine, it's just a great sound. I'm running completely on uh, compressed natural gas and right now it's $1.50 a gallon so it's a real savings versus the uh, $3.68 or so that the gasoline is. And um, let's uh, we'll go in. We'll play around with the switch a little bit. You can see the RPMs don't drop on the on the truck when I'm changing this over. So here's our RPMs. Uh, I've tried to get both, and I'm gonna turn it off. So we're going off, and it just right there. I mean, just changes right over. Now I'm gonna turn it on, and it just clicked on. I held it down, so it just flipped right over and it just transitioned perfectly. That light down there is an uh, ABS light and uh, yes I'll take care of that later. So revving it, it's smooth. As far as the rev, it just goes, you know, runs right up perfectly. And um, right now it's cold, it even runs even better when obviously when it's warm. and. Uh, this is by far, you know, I've had uh, been experimenting with this for three years. A lot of time, a lot of energy wasted, and uh, you know, until we finally got the right product. And this is definitely the right product. So, l let me know if there's anything I can do to help you on. Uh, if you have a conversion question or something, again, it's mycngguy.com, and I would love to help you. Uh, again, I'm just looking to help the guys who. Uh, you know, have vehicles and they just want to save some money on gas and get away from OPEC and, and uh, if you want to do it yourself or have me do it, either way, it's no problem. Um, I really believe that we do a great job, a clean install. You know, I've seen a lot through the years and, you know, there's no bird nest here. Everything's tidy, tucked away, and, and we're really proud of this finished product. So, um, let, again, let me know how I can help you. Thank you.